Welcome to Cow's World Travels. If you could hit that subscribe button, that helps support the channel. That'd be very much appreciated. Give the video a like and hit that bell button for notifications. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here we are in Algiers. On our way to the Mata Square. This mark is absolutely rammed. We're here in Mata Square. I tell you all, mind is a really busy city, Algiers. Notre Dame Church in Algiers. So we're here in Tipaza. This is a map of Tipaza. All the amphitheater in Tipaza. 2,200 meters, the larger of the wall was one meter and a half, it was eight meters high. With 37 control towers around the city, with three doors, the east door of Ecosium is adjacent today, the west door of Cesare is Shushai today, as I told you, it was the capital, 370 hectares, uh, and the south door. We are here, usually we visit this uh, side, it's 27 hectares, it's, uh, yeah, 27 hectares, and inside these 27 hectares, we, we will see the amphitheater for battles and gladiators, the temple's place, there is two temples to see, the Ammonim temple and the new temple. Here is the entire section, we have the Cardo Maximus, north-south, and the Documanus Maximus East West. We have the witch place. It was like San Gerizia of this city, uh, business actions, uh, shops. We have the Villa of Fresca for the artisanal work, the production of the mosaic, uh, where the Queen, which the Queen Elizabeth took a photo here in uh, 1981. And because of course, this site is uh, World Heritage. We have an industrial area, and inside we will uh, find the boiler, 
the sauna, the terms, and some Roman sauce factory called uh, the Garum. It's uh, similar to a Vietnamian sauce called Nyok Mom. It's the same thing, fish sauce. Up we have the Basilica of Alexander, the beginning of Christianism in North Africa, built in the end of the 4th century by the Byzantines. Here we have the rest of Control Tower. Do you know Albert Camus, French writer? Okay. This is an uh, inspiration place of him. So. The rest of the big water of the city, next to Basilica and next to the theater. We have a theater and the last thing to see is a fountain. So we will see all these things and how you like. Of this amphitheater, it's 80 meters. The protection wall is three, meter, uh, three meters and a half. It was rounded by the stents and you know the French took uh, the stones to build the port of Tipaza and the hospital in the city called Hedjot, just here. So with mini dolls, Two doors for the gladiators, two doors for the spectators, and a door for the governor. And the governor uh, is the last one who entered to this arena to see the show. And his place was there. And behind this wall there is a big space and other wall. So they used to put wood between these two walls. And when the governor speaks on this wood, the sound will be louder. It's an uh, acoustic system. We will find it up in the basilica, in the outer of the basilica, and on the theater. Death row against white animals, the Atlas line. You know, so they are gladiator fights here today. The gladiator fight uh, between each others. Okay. Uh, uh, to win them freedom and prisoners with the line uh, would do the uh, uh, the Atlas line. Yeah, you know the north of Algeria was full of this kind of lines. Uh, as we have uh, a town in the east of Algeria called Sokaharas, means uh, the markets of the lions. We have uh, Wehran. You know Wehran? In oh. west of Algeria. Oran. Yes. Oran you know? yes. Uh, original it's Wehran, it's a Berber name, and Wehran means lions. Yeah. So uh, they brought the cloud. This is the room of the gladiators. Many gladiators took a seat here waiting for them to end. So this is for the uh, oil condos and as a Chris, as you can see. And uh, the guardian took a seat there to watch them. Yeah, it's a space. And you see, this is for the door. The doors, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, the holes for the doors. So that's where the yeah. stones. And uh, we still have some arches in a seismic place like Tipaza. It's hard to find them. We have a lot of. Arches. How much would the uh, stadium have helped? Um, how many people could fit in? In this the, amphitheater? Yeah. It's uh, 3,000 people. 3,000 yeah, people. Almost 3,000. All the stones. Mm -hmm. This is the cage for a lion. After the body. But the lion come from where? Come from this hole. That's not the original shape because the earth is moved a lot of earthquakes and so on in the seventh century. This hole. So the lions come from there? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you it's not the original shape. And this is where they come from. I will show you the principle. Okay, so there's still 60% left to discover. Exactly. Oh, okay. So, so they've only found 40% of it. Level. Because they didn't find who's the god they were worshipping in this temple. And also, what's special, what's special with this temple, a sacrifice stone in the middle. We will see it. So, that was a sacrifice stone in the exactly, middle? Yeah. And usually, we don't find roofs in temples with a sacrifice stone in the middle. They leave it like this to use the energy of the moon, stars, this thing. So, the roof was just inside with three doors, a small door here. A big one in the middle and the other small in the other side. So, what do you start? Akram. Akram, yeah. It's <laughs> So 
stone have been already studied. So this stone called Tefza, it's a Berber name because this area it's a Berber area. So it's uh, when we burn this kind of stone it became red. And we can find red color in a lot of places of this site. For example, the wall of the new temple. You see some red color? Oh yeah. Yeah. Because that's one that buried it. Uh, buried it. So at first this temple was the temple of Jupiter. They found the head of Jupiter with white marble. It's in Tipaza Museum. We have a small museum here. So in after coming of the Christianism, it became a chapel, a small church. United Nations, it's Sarkozy, Chavez. This is the road of the cars, enter the sea, and we have the sewage underground. Oh, this is shop start. They are shops, um, by shops uh, yes, until the sea. So they were selling the olives, olive oil, honey, uh, wine, all these things. Okay. So this is the sewage. We come from up dirty water. So dirty water go straight to the sea. No, the Roman filter water. Uh, with sands and coal. In this place, they put sands, coal, sands, coal. After that, they use this sand and coal in agricultural work and uh, water. After that, we go clean to the sea. But it's not a place for the dead people with this view. So they made this big villa of 1,000 uh, me meter with 19 rooms. And exactly in this place, the Queen Elizabeth took a photo in 1981. And it was a cemetery before, was it? Exactly. Yeah. And a Phoenician style. With a mosaic. Oh, yeah. Just to show you the mm. colors. And this is a living room. Yeah, and uh, we have a space underground here of two meters. We call this space uh, thermic isolation. So they used to put space between earth and uh, the floor they work on to regulate the temperature of the room and the floor. To keep it warm in winter and cold in summer. People to see the site from the sea. Ah, right, yeah. okay. Yeah, really nice here. Go through this jar. So the technique was simple put in half of a jar and the ground to use the temperature of the earth and the rest up to a low air to be inside to conserve food more. Okay. So there's some jars, normal opening up, and the other in the sides. It depends what in, inside the jar. So it was uh, just a storm for some shops, it's not for all city, we have a lot of it. And they can store their food in here and stuff yes. like that, so like a fridge. That was in 2003 earthquake? Yes. Oh, wow. so it collapsed in 2003. Made, made water uh, hot, they put fire between this kind of stones until the stones became red and water uh, turn in some places. He go out from the, the other side. I will show you. On a room. That was the military base. Yeah. Yeah. For the weapons, weapons and. But uh, my specialty is here. This side, the Roman civilization. Uh, as I told you, built in the end of the fourth century by the Byzantines. It's all thing in two parts this part it was for praying the other side it uh, for baptizing people and the personnel of the basilica so for this part it was 700 meters of mosaic and this is the rest with a tall roof in the middle this is the column other columns and, there. yeah and we are uh, in the limit of the city that is the rest of the big wall of the city it was eight meters high and usually we don't find basilicas and churches in the limit of the city. Okay. But this is just the highest place on the site. And it's the Basilica of Alexander. Yes. Yeah. This is the rest of the mosaic. And I think that only in Nigeria people can walk on a mosaic like this. <laughs> yeah. Last after is the column. And this is the last piece for all the time. All the money. Of Caesarea of the Romans in Algeria, the Juba II. Ah, right. Yeah, he was a king in Shershal in Caesarea. Yeah. Yeah, uh, as I told you, 25 years BC. So it's 32 meters. Okay. This is the rest of it. 
So they used to baptize people by here? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. It's five meters deep. Water of the was deep. We'll throw a stone just to see how deep is it. And this control tower, there's uh, uh, 37 control towers like this. It was eight meters high. And this is the rest of the big one of the city. Also, it was eight meters high. And the stairs was like this. And to see the strategy point of this uh, tower, you just go up and enjoy the view, especially the west side. So this tower is called Chimbo. It's 950 meters. Uh, with the bridge, and uh, this bridge is almost 3 kilometers. And the stage was there. And what was this one used for? What was this theater change? No, what, what was the theater used for? It's a uh, comedy, uh, how say it? Concerts, comedy, yes, music, it's, it's those. Theater, yeah. yeah. And, and then some, the amphitheater for fighting. Yes. yes. And some meeting also for. Oh, yeah. That's for important people, the governors, the So if you stand up. Oh, so that stumble there gives an echo. Yes. Oh, right, okay. This stone, only this stone today. Oh, uh, can you imagine the echo in a half circle? It was big for the artist. We come by this way from Cesare or from Smith. Before they enter to the city through this door, big one with small neck, they stopped here, they clean themselves, drink water. Water come on aqueducts from uh, source, and the source is for two kilometers from this place. And now between the source and where we are, there is Tipaza, the new city. And it was, I think, exactly just like this. Yeah, you can I take the phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see it now. That's how it looked like. Here we are at the mausoleum of Mauritania where they say Cleopatra II was buried although they found no body here or any treasure um, or anything like that uh, she was actually the daughter of the Egyptian queen Cleopatra VII She's a like broccoli. She's a so this fountain, everything is from the Roman time, except the heads. These heads are copied, the original are inside the museum. It used to be a church, but now it's a mosque. Church out. Here's our very small propeller plane taking us from Algiers to Constantine.
Not a bad view. So health and safety pretty much goes out the window in a place like this. High this is by here. And then look at the drop. Little coffee shop are there. City Bridge in Constantine, Algeria. Area for some reason they paint the trees white at the bottom on that one as well over there actually don't know why that is yet but I'm sure I'm gonna find out at some point these are the city of Constantine How nice this looks. Little selection of meats. This. Nice. Little meat selection. Oh damn. So we're here at the Amiya Abdul Kadam Mosque. As you can see, a very beautiful building. Cakes right here. Nice. It's lovely chicken. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, 
Wow, probably the biggest pizza I've ever had. Busy, busy, busy. So we're here in Jumeirah, the largest preserved Roman city in North Africa. <laughs> He submerged into the holy water, so that ritual held inside of that building. It was a restored. Outside, there are two other secondary entries. An altar is almost in the middle, and behind the altar, there is a crypt, that hidden room which was designed to keep the tombs of the dead saints. Uh, the, the church. It was here the private uh, large uh, uh, house of the bishop himself with an, a chapel inside of it. Yeah. Which is consisted of different rooms. Also, uh, gymnasium and solarium. So, this theater has yeah. never been restored? Yeah, it's original. It's original. Yeah, with a capacity of 3,000 seaters. Also, it has or it contains that system of acoustic which allows everybody to hear at the same level. And the peers are divided into three social categories. Uh, one was for the noble class uh, below, in the middle for the middle class, and up here for the plebeians, uh, the inferior uh, class. During the summer and the winter, it was covered by a certain system called the vellum. Vellum is the uh, uh, involves uh, involves to use poly, uh, polys, ropes and the canvas to cover it and uncover it. Protect them against the audience who was below and to give them dominance over the, uh, the audience. On the other side it was the office of the clerk and also it was used to keep the archives of the tribe. Yeah. Let's go this way of this building. Through that, uh, those both words, Albinus Consularis, or the Council of Judges, the Tribunal, and here is the Provincia Numidia, the, 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 the eastern province of Numidia. Right here, we are in the extreme west of Numidia. So, the second western province of Mauritania just begins behind that greyish hill. Yeah. No, 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 I'm talking theater. Or known public fact. Yeah. I show you uh, convenient corners to, to the fountain. And in the middle of the street was designed for the traffic of chariots, horses, but it had both sides. And also. Here was a brothel. Yeah, here, yeah. the brothel. Yeah. This yeah. is the sign. The sign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just noticed yeah. that. Oh, look at This is the sign for the brothel. Yeah. Oh. And here was the office of brother. the pimp, that uh, gentleman who manages services inside. This is for the pimp here. And inside there are many of uh, rooms for the woman to receive or to welcome. So this is dedicated to Venus. Yeah, Venus Genetrix. Yeah. She has another uh, nickname, Genetrix, because it was the Buildings or public buildings, yeah. Uh, another court was here, and the local senate building was there on the other side. And on the front was the Capitolium dedicated to Zeus. Yeah, it's uh, it must be uh, the the most dominant building around the whole city. Yeah, brothers who were governors. Uh, and the name of the city is Kwikul. Kwikul. Yeah, Kwikul. C U I C U L. Kwikul. And that was the original name of the city. Yeah. Kwikul. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, sacrifice for a deity or to a, de uh, a pagan deity. So we have different animals here. We have the bull, which well, there are three different volumes here to weigh cereals. And this is a cube, a half of one meter. 
to measure length. This market also was a donation given by one noble citizen of this city who was named Lucius L stands for Lucius. This is a coma here. And he was nicknamed Primus. His nickname was Primus and his family name was Cusinius. The Asclepius. Cool. So there are pebbles in there. Yeah, pebbles here. Yeah. Yeah, full of pebbles. And then the pillar, yeah. and then that would stop. Uh, yeah. Well, it would stop an impact of an earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Observe. Just yeah. observe. Yeah. So this is uh, the museum. Uh, it's a local museum. It's just of this city. Yeah, nothing was imported from as well. And it's classified as number one for mosaics around Algeria because it uh, contains 1,200 square meters of mosaics. Uh, 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 the life of Bacchus, the life cycle. Of and it's a pagan. Yes, yes. Yeah. It, it was brought from another private villa and it represents the four episodes of the life of Bacchus. So below we have the babyhood of Bax. Bax when he was a baby and he's sucking milk from a nurse. The nurse was a goddess of water. On the left is the other bringing of Bacchus. So Bacchus grown up, he became a child and he's riding on a tiger's back to train to become a warrior. Helped by Saturn in the front of him. Saturn was a feudal semi-god. And behind him, another nymph, she's holding his waist, uh, the waist of Bacchus, to not fall down, to not collapse. Above is libation for Bacchus, the god this time, so giving offerings for him as a god. And on the right is the feasts of Bacchus or the Bacchanalia, the orgies, where everything was allowed. You can see even uh, a woman yeah, who holds a phallus and tries to deflower a virgin. Yeah. So we have the both uh, types of mosaics here. We have the pagan mosaics and other Christian mosaics. For the pagan mosaics, they mainly represent mythology. And the other one, which are Christians, uh, they represent different symbols or Christian symbols. Uh, for the pagan mosaics, we have that one. Yeah. It was brought from uh, a private villa and it represents uh, hunting. We can see the city of Kwikul is just behind the arcade and many of Roman fellow citizens are hunting different wild animals with different techniques for hunting too. For example, on the, on the left, uh, the rabbit were, which was hunted by means of a net on the shoulder of the human being. But the deer and the boar were hunted by means of a spear. Below we have gladiator show. So the fighting or the combat between the human being and the animals, such as the Berber lion or the Berber, Berber panther. Yeah brought from another private pagan villa and it represents the toilet of Venus, the process of grooming and dressing Venus who is taking a seat into the shell. Meanwhile she's looking for her face reflected on the mirror. The shell itself is held by two tritons, mythological marine monsters on the both sides and in the four corners there are four mermaids, always goddesses of water. The lines always symbolize the surface of the Mediterranean Sea, but the emptiness in the middle represents a sewer to drain the water of that room. Yeah. This is the largest intact mosaic in Algeria. This one was I invited the side to focus with that expression there in the line. It's an Median or native gods and after it's a Roman, it's the father of the of Jupiter region. And this is the this double or this couple was died in the third century AD. We have this signal DMB 
or DMS, which means Dios Manubos Gunos. Dios Manubos Sacro. For the good gods, man. The name it's man. Man who protect the houses. It's man like a genius. Like a and the south, and the second one, it's the Ducumanos between the east and the west. This is the, in the map, we have the first one, and the second one. The cross of the two axes, or the two roads, we have the forum, the center, with two floors. It's with apartments, it's for rent, and after we have this, it's shops. This is the life. It's the Roman life. Oh, yes. It's a library. Yeah. And they will have three doors. And this is the inscription for the third century. We have ex libertates Marcos Julio Cantani Flavie. Rugatiani. It's a gift from Marcos, who is a member or governor of Tingad, for the Republicae Coloniae Temugadi. This is the old name of Tingad, the mother of happiness. And after we have forbidding this Bibliothecae with 400,000. Numum or sisters, the Roman currency. It cost four hundred thousand sisters. Mm. For eight armaria as a cupboard. Then we got this the forum, the center. But before visiting the forum we must visit in the toilets. Some toilets for the good gather. And this it's for, for the water, it's fountain, and after some irrigation for the water. And they use this for cleaning themselves. They use this, we call it tarsorium in a Latin word. It's like this for cleaning himself. Oh, okay. And after we must put it in, in the center of this toilet, yes, put it uh, for another yeah. using because we have salt and the water. And it's like this. It's like thrown. It's thrown Rome, and it's like this. Just yeah. It's, it's for an exit. The Victory Temple, the Municipal Council, and this is the court. Between this, we have the judge. Between the two courts, we have some statues for the emperors of the second century. Come over here. Yeah. Head. Hump. So the aim of this game is not to go past that line when you throw. I need to get the stones in these holes. Yeah, not one. <laughs> Intellectio sits, the public sits, 4,000, and in the center we have like microphone or the echo. Here they all around, yes. same level. And this is the stemna or the stage, and the orchestra, and the sits. This time they organized uh, like a party for the theater. Of honorary banks, the god of the wide. And what what type of events did they have here? Fourteen days. Uh, no, what type of events? So was it um, like concerts? Some was concerts, it gladiators? Theater, tragedy. Oh. And this is the first map.
So the sleeves are in this one by here? Yes. So the sleeves are in by here. And then the horses by here. Atrium. And it's collected the rainwater? Yes. And it was decorated by the flowers. And after in the third century, 15,084 hectares. It is for pondering and uh, we call uh, the Jupiter family. We have this decoration, we have the altar, the upstairs, six columns, and three chambers in the center. We have the statues of Jupiter, and the second, his wife, Yunonni or Jinan, and the third one, it's for Minerv, the water mill, the abret, ab this is a stereo, water mill, the abricots, the wine, the half bags, and some medicinal plants. The signal of Tingad. It was built in 212 by Siftim Siever, which is the emperor of Rome in the second century. It's like a gift for the builder Trajan. For this reason, they called this Trajan Arch. So this is where they come on the chariots. Cool. Ancient tracks. She, she put some uh, some lamps in the doors for telling the people my job it's in the night okay so they knew it was a brothel yeah yeah okay so that's a symbol this is the pagan symbol the Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. So Alpha by there, Omega by there, and then Jesus Christ is a little cross. Cool. Yes. Enough is for you. So the foot's going our way. Yes. Enter. And foot's the other way. Exit. exit. Yes. So the baths. So she sees a reflection on the bottom and then she covers herself up. Center of the market, main square. So here we are in Gardea Central Market. So we're in the market in Gardea, very different to Constantine. Before that, so you are lucky. In our street, we we'll let in the fresh air move into the inside, which reminds me of the outside, and also you can feel shade in the evening. So the hole below is so she can see who's knocking. She looks through that hole and she knows who's knocking at all. Market, while inside of the city was made for family living while respecting social norms. Okay. So and the market has two main roles: economic role and social and political role. Economic role is the place where they do trading, so exchanging goods, goods in goods. So uh, the lady making carpet clothes, to the bedouin people who brought milk, wood, and things like that. 
and also is the place where the leaders of the city gather. The leaders of the city, each tribe has its representative inside, like a mini parliament. You may notice in the big square over there a white circular monument. If you see inside, you will see rocks. Those rocks are the seat of the mini parliament. It's a uh, in century. When they become overpopulated, they uh, make it even bigger. Uh, it was a main gate here, closing by night, opening by morning. This is a watchtower to control the area, the outside, and this is a great wall which was circulated all around the city, it is a fortified city. Okay. We'll go to the mosque and the mosque will help us. It means the mosque is not just for praying, but for helping ill the spirit, uh, I mean, uh, need the spirit. This is how it looks like. It has an open space always. Why open space? To let the lights enter, as I told you, I explained late, earlier. And this is a short corridor making shadow to the half of the house. To keep it cold. You can feel it's, uh, the temperature will always the same. Um, by by uh, winter, the temperature it may reach zero degree. By summer, 50 degree. But here, always approximately is in the mid. So 25, like that. Okay, so, so this is a secret path all around the city just for a moment. Souvenir shop in Gardea in the market. Very colourful. Like the green space is something important. Yeah, mm -hmm. people have been cutting down the trees over there to make houses. So they built this one to stop them doing it, which is this one up here. traditional restaurant this is. Okay. This is the main gate at that time, and you can notice that the streets are unstraight. Palm days only, so they were using palm days in making the doors, in making the, the roof, and all that. Okay, them as uh, stockage for dates and all that. These corridor bits is uh, cold, and then when you come to the corridor right here, it's hot. 
20,000 people live in this village, which is the oldest village in Yemzab. Old market square in the village. The differences between the, uh, the, the old world and the new one is that uh, the old walls are always standing on the rocks. Okay, so, the this one. Yeah. so the old walls are always standing on rocks. This one uh, the standing on the rocks are the old walls in this area. Oh, okay. okay. So they hit this wall with palm leaves to create little crevices to get more of a shadow to reduce the heat. This is the oldest village of all the five in Enzab. Ah, oh, yeah. So this is the older door? Yeah. And that's the newer one. It's the main entrance to the village in the 11th century. <laughs> So this is an old palm roof, an old door, and this is one of six entrances into the village. Where they'd hang the kutsa, and then this is where they'd hang the water to drink from. Ah, yes. So this is the cemetery. Contrite names in here, in this uh, in this uh, graveyard in the Mzab uh, tradition. Uh, they only like uh, make uh, so, uh, something above that the per that person was using when he was alive. So here we're going down to a mosque, our white building but there. We have the mosque. Now they are waiting for us. <laughs> Please stop us again. We are in the Desert Olympic Games, starting with javelin. <laughs> Gemma's going first. That black box is the marker, you can't go past it. So Gemma can run up here. She's happy though. Here it is. So we put the marker on that. The next game in the Desert Olympics is getting a Fanta bottle into this box. You can't come past here, this line, see the line where the stick is? And then if you get into this, you move up then to the next tree by here, and then to the tree up there, and then we'll see how we go. We'll see who wins. We'll have three attempts each, and then we go back and forth. So here's Gemma, first of all. No. No. Last one. Oh! Oh! Shit the post. Oh my god! No way! That took him like left times. <laughs> So this trip to Gardea has definitely been an interesting one. Our flight from Constantine to Gardea was already an hour too late. Then we arrived at the airport and the police took our passports. They won't give them back until we had transport to the hotel. 
So we were in the airport for God, probably about 45 minutes until a taxi came and took us and our tour guide came and then they decided that wasn't good enough. So <laughs> they gave us a police escort all the way back to the hotel um, which took about half an hour and then after that we are in this dark alley lane they are banging the gates uh, for the hotel, no answer looked like there was nothing there they woke up all of the people in the, uh, the street and um, they come out arguing with the police which is definitely funny um, but then eventually we got there but it's definitely been worth it like that. Just your average day in the Algerian desert. Spectacular views. Sunset. Uh, it's the local energy drink. I think it's called something like takeaway.